minutes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. When Commander John W. Young and pilot Robert L. Crippen boarded Space Shuttle Columbia and embarked on the first orbital flight of the fledgling STS program, NASA achieved a remarkable feat. They not only launched an aircraft capable of achieving orbit and returning to Earth safely across multiple flights, they also reawakened a nation's imagination reigniting the fascination with outer space that had not been seen since the lunar landings a generation before. Watching Columbia escape the atmosphere brought with it the feeling that the impossible is possible, that through education, exploration, ingenuity, and our ceaseless human curiosity, there is no problem we can't solve, no mystery we can't unravel. Columbus State University's Coca-Cola Space Science Center in Columbus, Georgia, embodies that very feeling, a feeling of infinite potential. What began as an educational outreach facility for the University System of Georgia is about to embark on a bold new flight path, becoming the only museum devoted exclusively to space science and space shuttle artifacts in Georgia. This is the Coca-Cola Space Science Center's giant leap, and this is how it happened. Atlantis flew NASA's 135th mission. It would also be the last. After 30 years of shuttle exploration, the space shuttle program was ending. The last launch was an historic and emotional experience for all present. But for the Columbus State Coca-Cola Space Science Center crew that watched on as the Atlantis took to the final frontier a final time, it was also a deeply personal experience. Because in 2010, the Space Science Center entered an ultra-competitive process to secure NASA shuttle artifacts that would soon be decommissioned upon retirement of the last three functioning orbiters it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So what NASA did was a great undertaking with this online portal. Um, so what they had done is they, they would take a lot of NASA artifacts, and in the first 41 days, only um, certain entities that were specific to NASA, like National Air and Space Museum, uh, Langley, Marshall Space Flight Center, had the opportunity to um, request these artifacts. And after that 41 days, then universities and other entities could actually apply and try and get it. Um, so it was a very competitive process. One of the main reasons why we got some of the stuff that we did was the great passion that we have um, for the Science Center on what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to base a whole exhibit around these artifacts and um, actually bring these to the community of Columbus State University, uh, Columbus, Georgia, and the Southeast and share the history and passion of uh, NASA spaceflight. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin untethered Apollo 11's lunar module from the command module and descended to the surface of the moon, becoming the first human beings to explore an alien world. 43 years to the day later, the faculty and staff of the Coca-Cola Space Science Center boarded a chartered bus and embarked on their own journey. At 5.45, they set out for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, to retrieve the crown jewel of shuttle artifacts, a shuttle nozzle that had actually flown in space. Between the whirlwind of informative tours, the in-depth interviews, the photo ops and congratulatory speeches, the pride of the NASA staff in turning over this relic of the shuttle program, and the excitement of the Coca-Cola Space Science Center's crew in receiving it, the gravity of the situation settled on all involved. Both centers were in the process of taking another giant leap forward, and both centers were excited to be sharing this little moment, acknowledging it together. What an amazing day in Huntsville, Alabama at the Marshall Space Flight Center when we went there to pick up our nozzle. 
they really rolled out the red carpet for us. We, we knew that they were going to do something, some kind of a handoff ceremony, but we had no idea the lengths that they were going to go to to thank us for taking this important artifact and put, putting it on permanent display in our exhibit gallery. The journalist Norman Cousins once stated, what was most significant about the lunar voyage was not that man set foot on the moon, but that they set eye on the earth. Through exploration, we find ourselves. That could very well be the mission statement of the staff at Columbus State University's Coca-Cola Space Science Center. For more than 30 years, America's Space Shuttle program has inspired our world to drive technology and advancement in search of greater things. And now at the Coca-Cola Space Science Center at Columbus State University, it will continue to inspire the next generation of professionals in STEM fields and the next imaginations that will shape and form the technology and exploration of the future. Whether attending the last shuttle launches of Atlantis and Endeavour, tracking the transit of Venus in the Gobi Desert, or looking ahead to STEM advancements and space tourism, the Coca-Cola Space Science Center and its crew carry with them always the knowledge, exuberance, and adventurous spirit needed to inspire people of all ages to get out and explore our world and the universe beyond. Because in better knowing the universe, we better know ourselves.